This is X Windows running UWM, the window manager that I modified to have Pi menus. Here is a Pi menu with different hosts at the University of Maryland. Now, I can choose a host by moving in the direction, and when I let up on the menu, I get a submenu for that host of programs to run. Now, I choose the X term. Now, if you'll notice, on every host, the submenu is the same, so that all I have to remember are the directions of the hosts and the directions of the programs, and I can run each program on any host. So while they're beaming in, I'll get two more, and we should have four terminal windows any moment. So there's a window management menu that lets me actually iconify something and place it, or just iconify it in its default place, switch the cursor focus to where, where my type in goes, move a window just with a rubber band line, or actually drag that window, moving the whole window, or resize the window, and I'm going to demonstrate these. As well, there is raise and lower a window in the stacking order, and rotate back and forth the stacking order of the windows. Now, another useful one is pushing a window up, down, left, or right by a few pixels. And here come the terminal windows. Well, here is pushing. As you can see, this is a very directional menu, so it's very intuitive which direction to push. Now, lowering and raising is similarly intuitive. To put an icon somewhere, I can indicate this window and then move it. Iconify and resize, I indicate a corner and I drag it. This is silly to demonstrate, but I'll show you mouse ahead. The push menu is very easy to select the direction you want very quickly. So if you mouse very quickly and the events are already in the queue by the time the program sees them, that will complete the selection. There's no need to actually put up the menu. So I'm going to select a whole bunch of rights succession. Now, a whole bunch of lefts. Well, I'll deal with that later. Now, I'm going to demonstrate how you have to warp the mouse near the edge of the screen in order to get the right kind of interaction. Well, that big black thing is the screen edge. Okay, when the menu has to be moved to go onto the screen, the mouse should be moved by the same distance. Now, that takes a relative mouse work command, or you have to be able to read the position of the mouse very quickly so that you can move while clicking near the edge of the screen and have it not lose the distance that you've moved since the mouse down and the time it reads the position. Okay, here are some gratuitous silly menus near the middle of the uh, Bucky that was it. Now, 12 hours. Very directional. Okay, some rig demos. The pull down menu. This is a percent menu. 
more of an evaluator than a menu. It does demonstrate how you can increase your accuracy by going out further. A small amount of mouse movement here makes a big difference, but as you go further away from the center, it makes much less of a difference. Alphabet. Certainly, I don't suggest that this is a good way to type in letters, but it does show that it's possible to choose the one you want. And these are the quadrants that, if you read about the Gory implementation details, you'll know about. And this is your obvious compass menu. Okay, that's good. <laughs> Let's talk demons in that icon. <laughs> Who is it? Oh, poor Kevin. <laughs> <laughs>